internet. I'm going to do a tutorial today on how to set up your pilot name on your FPV camera. Uh, it's actually really easy and you can do it on all the standard PZ 0420s and HS 1177s. So it's really handy for when you're in the park, not sure who's on what channel, you can instantly see your name on your screen and you can find out who smashed you as well if other people power on. So that's why it's going to be uh, mandatory at the Drone Nationals in Australia coming up as well. So I need a little tutorial on it and all we do is you go into special and cam title and away you go. Start titling. Then you want to go down to pause to position it. That's already in the right position. You want to go across a couple and then up one or two clicks as well. Otherwise the bottom half of the writing will be cut off. I mean you can stick it anywhere you like but uh, that's probably a sensible spot. And that's it. Easy. So um, yep. there you go. Done. Uh, we'll go through the standard settings that I use on the camera now. If you uh, have a little excitement you can take for one night, then sign off. Otherwise, stick with me. So these are just the standard things that I do when I get one of these cameras. Uh, first of all, we go to exposure. We turn on digital wide dynamic range, but only if we're flying during the day. Not good for night time. Crank it up to 63. Then we leave that. I leave the white balance as it is. I think changing it's just silly and makes everything look yellow at the wrong time. So we leave that. Um, force it into colour, uh, especially if you're going to fly at night, unless you really need that, that black and white. Uh, if you're flying with a light tracks course or something like that, you want to force this into colour and not have the wide dynamic range on either. And you probably want to play around with the contrast and uh, brightness settings a bit too, otherwise everything blooms out and you can't see. Trust me uh, on this one. Right, special, we were in there. We've done all the specialness we need to do. Uh, image adjust is the another important one. This lens shade thing just boosts the corners up a little bit, so I switch it on, doesn't hurt anything. Doesn't degrade the picture that I've noticed. This one's important, contrast, take it down. Down to about 105 and uh, you'll find flying into the sun is a lot better. Bump up the sharpness may as well so you can see those little invisible branches a little bit better. Go to display and set it into user and then change the gamma to 0.35. And that's it. That is all I do. Ready to fly. So hope you enjoyed guys. I'll see you around. Bye now. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.